All right, so um, hello everyone, and um, come back to the uh, Focotier um, entertainment sessions. Today we'll be uh, talking about the semantic backup exec um, user interface. Let's see what uh, various uh, features that are available under the semantic backup exec. So this is the um, this is a test environment where we have a Windows 2008, and I already installed. Uh, uh, semantic uh, backup exec 15 okay so um, this is the uh, the UII the user interface okay so here we have uh, various tabs one is the home backup and restore job monitor storage reports these are all the uh, the default tabs you will see whenever we open semantic backup exec but however uh, I mean, we can we can change uh, the options what we want. Okay, so this is the uh, the icon. Okay, um, so uh, when I click on this icon, I see uh, uh, various uh, settings here. Connect to backup exec server. So this uh, uh, option gives us to connect to any other backup server in our environment. So customer got two or three backup exec servers. Uh, let's say it can be under a, a single site or it can be under a multiple sites uh, between cities or states. So we can, I mean, should be able to connect that backup exec server. If I click on connect to backup exec server, let's see uh, what happens. See, uh, we got a new pop-up window here saying that the server name and you can mention the credentials and the password, okay? And uh, click on connect, right? So uh, if I have more than multiple servers in the same domain, then it should list here and I should be able to connect using my credentials. So that is the first thing. And uh, let's go back to the, uh, the, uh, the other options here, okay? So um, the next thing is the configuration and settings. Okay, and under configuration and settings, uh, we have a uh, job defaults. Okay, so let's say the job defaults. The first one is backup to disk, convert to virtual, schedule, exclude dates, exclude selections. So let's say if I click on my job defaults, how exactly a backup to disk job should run? So I can configure those settings and how should a, a schedule should run and what are the uh, uh, exclude dates is a very interesting topic because this is very important whenever uh, the company uh, uh, I mean there is a holiday for a company in an year and let's say um, I mean normally uh, we go on vacation from I mean the Christmas like from from let's say like from um, uh, 23rd or 24th of December to again uh, we'll be coming back uh, in the first week of Jan. So we have to exclude those dates especially and if customer don't want to uh, run a backup job uh, over the weekends, Saturday, Sunday, then you can exclude completely for the year, right? And also you can also mention and exclude selections because I don't want to back up C10 uh, under my local C drive for all the servers, I can I can create an exclusion list and which is uh, uh, applicable to all the servers in the environment. So these are all the different uh, I mean uh, options settings you can configure at the user inter at the uh, user interface level, which is uh, applicable for all the backup jobs and for all the servers in your environment, which gives. Uh, which, which saves a lot of time, okay? So if I click on uh, exclude dates, let's see. So it gives a, a calendar, okay? And uh, where I can select, uh, let's say I don't want, uh, so I can select like this. Which font? So I can select completely over the, uh, from the calendar, from various, you know, and click on OK, and uh, those dates will be added, and, uh, and the backups will be excluded uh, 
from the uh, from the schedule okay and uh, again if I go back here and uh, exclude selections so see this uh, clearly shows globally excluded selections so click on insert which one the path let's say see 10. All right, so apply to subdirectories. So um, if I click on OK here, see that got added. So global in, in exclusions like the C temp will be excluded from all the servers uh, in the uh, in my domain or in a work group. All right, so then you can enter. Um, there will be any uh, any temporary files which I don't want to back up. Um, any other uh, like the uh, uh, my documents uh, users so you can you can add in any folder you want okay and uh, click on okay all right so that that's how it works so those are the uh, different uh, job defaults okay so if I click on uh, backup to disk or uh, let's say the schedule however uh, our schedule uh, a default uh, schedule job should run okay so this is of the uh, the schedule pattern is okay if you look at you can schedule a backup job hourly wise you can uh, configure a backup job uh, a days wise you can configure uh, on a week wise in which you can uh, select what are the different days that the backup should run by default okay in a month or in a year all right, so if I click on uh, our, it gives run every hour at what time between following days, you know. So this uh, reoccurrence pattern, I mean, if we have any critical servers in the environment, depending upon the business requirement, we can change. Right, and if you click on days, it gives every day or every weekday, so with a specific time. And weeks, you can mention every week which day it should run. And uh, similarly for a month, it gives run at specific uh, day of every month because I want to have a particular server backup job at, let's say, of my uh, last week of. Uh, last week or last day of the month i can select here okay so every fourth wednesday or every third or every last friday of every month see last day of every first month and i can select for the yearly backup every year on jan 1st or december 31st i can select right for an yearly backup So this is how you will, you will schedule, okay? And uh, and below is the the schedule uh, the the queue. Let's say how exactly they should uh, behave. Uh, so you reschedule the job if it does not start. Uh, so these are the default hours. You can change it depending upon, uh, let's say uh, let's say one hour or uh, ten hours or eight hours or twenty four hours right and cancel the job but still running after more than 24 hours because 23 hours or 20 hours so that you know it will not affect the the next day schedules you can change these rules here so these are all the the default schedule um, options we have all right under the um, configuration settings under the job defaults and um, convert to virtual is a is a new feature added okay which is not there actually in semantic backup exec 10 d or uh, okay so um so you can convert a backup to a virtual okay so um so here it, it you can mention uh, the source as all backups okay 
or any specific backup you have or more most recent full backups okay and also uh, you can mention uh, the schedule every week uh, convert uh, a virtual immediately after uh, after source task completes okay and uh, you can also configure a notification uh, whenever the uh, the job finishes okay currently uh, i don't have any uh, uh, email configuration so that's why it's not giving me but you can configure here conversion settings convert to where we have two options one is the v center the other one is the hyper v okay so for this option uh, we should have an, a vm server or a hyper v server in one environment all right so it's kind of a you will be sending uh, uh, i mean you can restore those backups uh, let's say for the uh, for the vm where esx or vcenter uh, it will be um, uh, vmdx files format and for the hyper v it will be vhd formats so, and also you need this information the logon information okay the, uh, the server and this and your logon for the the root access should be there All right and uh, override the virtual machine if it already exists full path of the your uh, iso image So this is how uh, you will uh, configure. Okay. And um, go back to the um, right. Uh, so the, those are the different. Uh, um, Features we have under the job defaults, the backup to disk, convert to virtual, schedule, exclude dates, and exclude selections. So um, we will cover more uh, uh, user interface settings in the coming sessions. Okay. So these are about the, the job defaults, and stay tuned for more updates. And thank you for watching. All right, and have a nice day.